Hi, this is Brian with Around the House with Brian and Taylor, or Taylor and Brian, whichever way you want to say that. I want to talk to you today about some um, bird books. Since the pandemic has started, Taylor and I have been spending a lot of time out here on the porch looking at the yard, all the birds. We're up to about 28 species of birds that we've seen in our yard. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see some fly over my shoulder in the video. I just want to talk to you today about some of the interesting uh, bird books or guides that we've found or things that have been helpful in our study of birds and, and as we go along we're learning more and more about birds. We live in southeastern Tennessee um, so the first thing I would recommend is whatever state you do live in buy one of these books. Uh, this one's Birds of Tennessee. They have them for every state I'm sure. Um, but this is extremely useful. The, the really nice thing about this particular book is it's based on the color of the bird. So if you have a yellow bird, you I don't know if you can see here, but the tab, there's like little tabs here, and they're color coded, so you just turn to yellow, and there you go, there's a Tennessee warbler. Okay, so it's really easy as far as that goes. Prairie warbler, whatever it is. Um, in this case, this book makes it um, clear that there's about 800 species of birds in North America. Here in Tennessee, there's 190 something, I forget the number that are residents. So this book covers the birds you're likely going to encounter in Tennessee. It's not going to necessarily tell you the uh, random migrant you're going to have from Mexico or uh, Jamaica or someplace like that. But this, this book is quite excellent. So not only is it color coded, um, again that's really easy, but another nice feature, say you're looking at a broad wing hawk, it's going to tell you the size, the dimensions, where it's going to be hanging out. It gives you some notes at the bottom. Um, the author has included some things that will help you distinguish this bird maybe from a look-alike bird or, or something that's going to be a dead giveaway as to what bird you're actually looking at. It also has like a, here you can see our state of Tennessee, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a summer resident and it's telling you it's basically in the entire state. Um, so again, this is a really nice book. This one is written by Stan Tequila or Tequila, I'm not sure how you say his name, it's T-E-K-I-E-L-A, he's a naturalist and wildlife photographer but again if you live in Tennessee birds of Tennessee this is an excellent guide to get it's really easy if you're first uh, getting into birds um, quickly I'm going to show you something this is a book I picked up this is not a guide book it's just a cool book to read about birds uh, the genius of birds by Jennifer Ackerman I'll do an actual video on this at some other time but this is a New York Times bestseller um, we've kind of graduated from the book I showed you at the beginning of the video this is a little bit heavy duty, um, more in depth, let's put it that way. This is the Crossley ID guide. This is for Eastern birds. So now it's not just focused on Tennessee birds, but all of the Eastern um, states. So this book is extremely nice. So it is full color photographs. It's a little heavy if you're trying to carry it out into the field while you're actually doing some birding. I mean, you could keep it in the car, I'm sure, but hey, this is really nice. Let me just give you a in fact, I still got a receipt in here sticking out. Let me move that. But just to give you an idea, let me turn to something here. So here's kind of what it looks like. It'll get, it'll show you the birds at different um, life stages, juveniles, uh, male, female, that kind of thing. It's really nice. Now this one's not color coded like the other one, so it is a little harder to look birds up. But here's a common sight that we have in our yard. It's the blue jay. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but again, it does show you like the, the range map, shows you the size, and, and the way this is divided, it's going to show you all different kinds of jays back to back, um, or hummingbirds, which we have a lot of those. So this is a really cool guide right here, the Crossley ID guide. I highly recommend this one. This has 640 um, different scenes in this book, and there's 10,000 uh, photographs in here, I think it says on the back. So this is a really excellent book. Again, the Crossley ID Guide. Um, trying to see what else would be interesting to point out about this. This is by Richard Crossley. But yeah, this is this is an awesome guide. So again, let me just show you. Birds of Tennessee, great. Birds of North Carolina, Birds of California, Birds of Arizona, wherever you are, pick up your local bird book. Now this one, $13.95 is the cover price on here. This book's a little bit more expensive. This is $35 from my local uh, Wild Birds Unlimited store, but definitely give those folks some business. And this is something Taylor got me randomly as a gift one day. We were on the porch and this arrived. 
Um, what It's Like to Be a Bird by David Allen. Sibley. Sibley is like one of the most famous birders of all time. He's got all kinds of guides out and videos you can watch on YouTube, that sort of thing. This isn't necessarily like a, uh, a dinner. Sorry, I keep getting this little gnat bothering my ear. Um, this is more like a fun fact kind of book. It's not meant to be read from cover to cover, but as you open it up, here's some hawks or whatever bird it is, you're going to read something very interesting about them. Now, these are not uh, actual photographs. These are more like watercolor. But th this is a really cool book. So this is something that would be really nice to leave on your coffee table. Look at it often. If you just have a few minutes while you're sipping your coffee, pull this book out. Read a little bit about woodpeckers. Find a fun fact. Oh, there went another thing. Apparently, I've got lots of bookmarks in here. Um, so anytime... You know, I have a spare moment. I like to pick this up, and uh, that's an awesome book. So, yeah, David Allen Sibley. This is a book purchased off of Amazon. Cover price on this is thirty-five dollars in Canada, forty-seven. So this is really cool. It's got three hundred and thirty-five full color, full color illustrations. I recommend that one as well. That's a good one. Also, if you're just getting into birding, you may or gardening for that matter. You may want to think about subscribing to Birds and Blooms. This is going to be, a, I believe it comes like every two months you'll get this magazine. And uh, anyway, it's pretty straightforward. You can tell what it is, but this is pretty nice. Actually, I've been taking more photographs. Someday I'm going to try to get a photograph in this magazine, Birds and Blooms. Check that out. Um, but yeah, so definitely get yourself an ID guide. It's been invaluable for us. Me and Taylor, um, sometimes, even with a guide, it's difficult to figure out what a bird actually is when you're looking at it, especially if it's like a young juvenile, because they change color, and through the season they change color. And depending on their diet, how much keratin they're getting, that kind of stuff, their beaks will be different color. I mean, it can be complicated to figure out a bird. Uh, apart from the ID guides, book-wise, it's probably a good idea to get a good app on your phone. I found that the Audubon Society, that app is excellent for birds. So let me just show you this. In the Birds of Tennessee in the back, it's got like a checklist. And if you can see that, you can start checking off some of the birds that you've actually seen. So the Audubon, um, the app actually has it to where you can look birds up by size, shape, color, um, habitat, that kind of stuff. And you can also tag a sighting. So like here at home, we've, we've tagged some birds that we've seen in our yard. We're up to 28 different species now and the Audubon app keeps track of all that for us and any other sighting you go to you can tag that location. There's another good website called eBirds that you may want to check out. At least I think that's what it's called, eBirds. And uh, yeah, in any case this is just kind of some of the stuff that we've been up to over the past few months getting into birding. Apparently birding is one of the most popular activities in the world. I didn't know that. But it, it is quite addictive, actually, once you get into it. I recommend a good guide, binoculars, a camera. If you don't have binoculars or camera, just use your eyes. Actually, I got my glasses so I can see the birds a little better. And it's helping. I'm quite happy. Anyway, um, glad you watched this video. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Those of you who know us, uh, send us an email or text or something, and we'll be happy to talk about birds or any other questions you have around the house. In any case, thanks for watching. This is Around the House with Brian and Taylor. Till next time, give us a thumbs up. See you later.